Rails can be a fun way to remember your vacation. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a reel from your vacation footage, both with and without planning a concept before you start filming. Hi, I'm Wonderful Ida, an educational video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. First thing, you always want to start by organizing all your footage. So I put all my vacation reel stuff into one folder so that way I don't have to go through all my photos and videos as I'm uploading it to Instagram. This way it's much easier and I can just have it all in one place. So there's a couple ways you can approach this. The first way is you can go into your reels and if you click on the camera down here at the bottom you will see templates. So this is like a quick way of creating a reel without having to worry about editing too much. So say for example, I like this first template, it works for me. I'm gonna click on use template and all I really have to do is add the footage. So I'm just going to click on it, go and switch my album into vacation reel. So the album that has all my stuff in it and then I can just start selecting the different clips. Once it goes gray like this and it tells you you've reached your limit, you've reached your limit and that's all the clips you can add. So you can just go next. It's gonna take a few seconds for it to adjust and then your reel is going to be ready. But when you first put it together, it might not be the best parts of each of them. So what you can do is you can click on each of the individual clips and adjust which part of the reel it's going to add. Click on it and adjust it. It's sometimes harder to make sure you get all your clips right, but it is a quick and easy way that you can just add all your footage and put it together. So I'm just going to click next, next, and I'm going to save that as a draft just so I have it backed up. So in case I do want to post it, it's available there for me. The next way is to make the reel by adding them, making it all yourself. So I'm going to go into reels and I'm going to start by adding the audio. The reason you want to start by adding the audio is that you can easily time it to music if you add the audio. Later on it's going to be a little bit harder to adjust it. So I'm going to click on the audio clip and I'm going to pick a song. And once I have my song selected, I know that my song's in, is because it's going to show me the music, the icon's going to be that song. I can change my length. I can increase my length up to 90 seconds. I suggest that you increase your length to the max because once you start adding things, you can't increase the length, but you don't have to use the entire length of the video. So it just makes it easier for you to be able to add things in case you want it later. So to add your clips, all you're going to do is swipe up and select the album where you want to add them. If you don't see the clips appear right away, I'll do swipe up a little bit and then swipe back down and it's going to show the clips from that album. It's just a little glitch that Instagram's doing. So I can start adding the video clips. So let's start with maybe when you're adding them, you want to pay attention to the music. You add the first one and when you hear the beat, then you cut the end. So that's how you're going to want to trim it. So I'm just going to keep adding them. Start by figuring out where you want the clip to begin. And then whatever the beat is, that's where you want to cut it. There we go. And then just keep going through it until you add all your clips. So if you're previewing it and you don't like it, you can always click the edit clips button at the bottom and then you can either click on a clip and delete it. Let's delete that one. Or you can add another clip. So let's add a different one for the end. Well, that's cute. End it with a kiss. There we go. And then, so next, let's preview that. That's cute. So you can see, you can just put together random clips. They don't really have to have much to do with it, but it's just going to be a great way for you to highlight your vacation. So let's next that and let's save that draft. So these are all videos that you can create with existing footage that you already have. But let's say we want to get a little bit more creative and we want to add some kind of transitions or something into the reel itself. This is where planning is really helpful. So we recently went to African Lion Safari and what I asked my sister to do is get the kids to jump 
once, twice, so that we can do a transition reel with jumps. So I'm gonna show you how to put that together. So once again, we're gonna start with the music. Because they're jumping, I want something a little bit more upbeat. There you go. That's a more upbeat song. And so now let's add the cuts into it. So you can see here, I got her jumping. And so what I wanna do is I wanna start it when they're jumping, so they're landing, and then cut it when they're jumping the second time. So let's see, so we wanna have the first one and then the first and second one. You wanna add the transition so that it's in the middle. So I'm gonna add the first one and then let's do the next one. Here's another jump. So I'm jumping. And I'm jumping again. There we go, let's add another one. There we go. So let's preview that. So you can see that already makes it more fun because we have some kind of theme within the reel. And so we're going between location by jumping there. Ooh, that's cute. Save that. And so if you're creating your vacation reel, you can start by just putting together the footage and getting used to just using Instagram reels to put together things. But then as you create more, I suggest and I encourage you to start getting more creative with your stuff by adding transitions into your footage and just planning out what you're gonna do so that your reel is gonna be that much more engaging as you continue to get better at it. And remember, messy action is always better than no action. Until next time, peace.